There is so much to say and so little time. I want you playing this game as fast as you can. So let's get to the review. Go faster! Okay, so my friend Jason sent me this game and I really want you all to play it. So this episode is just going to be a little different in that I'm going to spend the entire time just teaching you how to play it. Now if you want to try out the demo, then just download it from the Japanese PSN store. You don't have a Japanese PSN account? What's wrong with you? If you don't have at least two regional accounts on your PS3, then you're only using like half of your PS3. So follow the links below this video and get one set up. Seriously, I don't even know why I bother sometimes. Get yourself a Japanese PSN account! Dark and thin and young and lovely The girl from Ipanema goes walking And when she... Okay, now that you have one, let's go get the free downloadable demo. Okay, so we're going to go to our PlayStation Store, and we're going to... Hey, look, there's Gundam Breaker right over there. But we don't want that one. Well, we do. That's the purchase one. That's the downloadable version. So you don't have to get that if you don't want to, if you trust me or not. But what we actually want is we want the demo. So instead, let's go over here to our game area, and that'll be the game top. And then we'll scroll down to our PS3 contents. And then we'll go over here and we'll scroll down to our demo area. And this is where all the demos are. And sure enough, here they pop up. So we're going to scroll across and hey, there's our Gundam Breaker demo. So just download this and you should be fine. Okay, now that we have the game demo, what the heck is it and why did you just download it? Yeah, I guess knowing that would be helpful. Gundam! You all know Gundam, right? Right? So this game takes the best of the Gundam games and... Models! Although this one is an SD Gundam model and uh, I don't know if they'll have the SD Gundams in this game. But it's cool because it gives you a collecting element and everything! So as you fight, sometimes you collect parts from defeated enemies. These can then be added to your basic mech to make it even more powerful. So, let's get you playing the game. Okay, we're going to start the demo and start her up. Here's the controls. The left analog stick moves you. The right analog stick moves your point of view as well as chooses different targets. Press down to make the camera reset. The square button is your basic attack button. If you're close combat, then it's hand-to-hand -hand weapon. If you're far away, then it's a ranged weapon. The triangle button is a more powerful attack, but a little bit slower, kind of like a medium attack. And you can do combos between the square and the triangle button. The circle button uses your optional ability. You choose these by pressing a direction on the D-pad. In the demo, you start with your choice of repair, beam saber, and head machine gun. Your EX actions are all done by pressing and holding the R1 button in either the square, triangle, or the circle button. Once you use your EX ability, it needs to recharge before you can do it again. Some recharge quicker than others. You can see how far along your ability is by looking at the lower right of the screen here. The red bars will start to fill up until it turns blue and it's ready for use again. Now for this demo, the square EX action is a powerful wide shooting attack to begin with. You use your jetpack by pressing the X button. You do vertical jumps by not pressing in a direction, or you can make shorter jumps by pressing the R1 and the X button together. L1 uses your shield. It'll defend against attacks, but it will break if you're not careful. Okay, so now let's play. You have your map in the upper right corner. The white dots are energy pods. These will heal you if you open them by going close to them and pressing the square button. You have your mech in the direction it's looking in, red dots are your enemies, and the yellow dots are model parts that you can collect. At the bottom left, you'll see two bars. The top is your hit points, and the bottom is your fuel for your jetpack. And then you have spaces for your allies and your score. Now before we start shooting bad guys, 
move over to the blue platform here. After you do that and move off, you'll notice that enemies will start to appear. Well, you know the controls. Start wiping them out. When you need more enemies, go over to a different blue platform. The platforms are just the Japanese instructions on the controls, and I already told you what they do. So, just use your knowledge and blast through the baddies and move on to the other areas until you win. Now, as you play, you'll notice that sometimes parts will fly off of either you or your opponents. Watch out, because if they come off of you, you need those parts or you'll be hindered. As for them, well, they'll be hindered too, so use that to your advantage. If you cut an enemy in half, before they reform, run over to the one part that has this circle around it and press the attack button to defeat them outright. The glowing parts will heal you, so make sure you collect those as well. Now when you're all done, you'll see this screen right here. You'll see your score and what you did as the graph goes up. You'll even get some points and medals along the line. Then, collect your reward parts from the treasure list. These are all the model parts that you collected during your game. Yeah, it's all Gundam models. High grade, master grade. Gah! And the great thing is that if you die during this game, you restart from some other point on the map, and you just kind of continue. But every time that you do that, a random treasure will be blocked out, and you won't be able to collect it. Aha! That's the catch! Now you are sent to your VR hangar. If you go down the stairs, then you can choose the next mission at this big computer, and just choose it with the X button. Then to go on to your mission, go to the mech and press the square button. But you'll probably want to do some customizing first. You can either do that very quickly by pressing the X button, or you might want to go the other direction, up the stairs and out. Then press X. Here you have a menu. Go to set up your gun put up and press X. And that's one of the things that I think that you will really like about this game. Unlike other Japanese games where the X is cancel and the circle is the accept button, in this game, it's just like other US games. Uh, the X is accept and the circle is go back. So it'll be a lot easier for you to get used to. So this is a modeling game. Even though you may have parts, you have to build them first. So choose Parts Build. You can see individual pieces by cycling through with the L1 and R1 buttons, or you can just make them here at the very beginning. When you make a piece, you will see what it is, how strong it is, and how many builder's points you get for it. The builder's points is basically your skill level. The better you get, I believe the more likely you are to get a part that is better quality. Those are the stars that you see there. And you'll also see stats for that particular part if it were to be added to your mech right now. Blue adds points, red takes away. Then once you have built all the parts, customize your mech! You'll see at the bottom right of the screen is a number. As you play the game more, your OS version will raise. Some parts can only be assembled if you have a high number. The number for each piece is found right here. Now look at the menu and see if this will raise or lower a number that you care for about your mech. Then you have these two numbers. This one is how much your mech can hold, and the second is how much you can have on your mech. It cannot be greater than that first number. Then when you've created your new mech, it's time to paint it. Circle button and X button out to the main menu, and then go to the Let's Paint area. Once again, cycle through with the R1 and L1 buttons. Do you find a paint scheme that you like? Well, save it to your palette with the triangle button. If you want to load one to paint something, then use the square button. That's all you need to know to play the demo. Go have a ball! Now, let's say that you get the game proper, either from a download or buying the actual disc. Well, the good news is that the work that you do in the demo will totally be forgotten when you play the actual game. Except for the parts. These will actually transfer over and you can use them to get a head start on the real game. Okay, you have the game proper. It plays exactly like the demo, with a few exceptions. In the real game, the L3 button recenters the camera, while the R3 button allows you to turn automatic targeting on and off. This is a good thing. 
And before you get into the storyline, you have to play two basic missions. Each mission has those platform discs that you have to step onto, but here you have to press square before you start shooting bad guys. And in these two missions, you are not as powerful as you were in the demo, and you cannot upgrade yet, so watch your power levels. And really, that's all there is to it. As you progress and finish missions and main boss areas, more things will start to unlock in the store area, and you'll start to be actually able to buy more and more parts, as well as full boxed models. Look at these things! They're just like the real model boxes. Oh, so cool. And the models inside will definitely give you all the parts you want if you're missing a part or just can't get it from an enemy. Another change is when you customize your mech with parts. You'll notice that one other rating just below this one has appeared. This is how well your mech is to using weapons. Now, some items will raise certain skills, some others lower them. Just make a note and make sure that you pay attention to it when you're modifying with other parts. Now as you play, you'll notice that the controls will start to get looser and the mech will be able to do more things as you customize it. Well yeah, it's the difference between riding a Power Wheels to a Lamborghini. Yeah. I am the analogy master. So thanks for watching, and I hope that this has given you all the urge to play this game. And if you're already playing it and needed some help knowing what some of the buttons do and some of the menus too, then I hope this helped you as well. Gundam Breaker! Yeah! You think that you can play this?